Oi, boys, welcome. Welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with the Bulldogs here, ready for round three. And we got yet another suspension. This time it's Braden Burns, who will be gone for three matches. Now, a fairly easy swap for us. We do have Mitch Moses back from his suspension, so he'll take his place in the seven, pushing Bailey beyond the auto back to the bench. We also have one more week left until Max King returns. I was thinking of moving Tavita Pangai back to the middle of the field, but we're gonna we're gonna wait it out for Max King to return. Jackson Torpenne had a pretty decent game last week, so we'll let him go again, and Tavita Pangai will keep coming off the bench for that impact. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Coming off a loss, we're currently one and one to start the season, looking to go back to back in this uh, this week's double upload. Still not full strength. Got Maxi King to come back, and then we should be sweet. Of course, if you do have suggestions of how the side should look, let me know in the comment section down below. Since we're double uploading, I'll do like maybe one or two of them. Looking at the year two nights, I did see Marita Ulangi. They still have Jake Clifford and Adam Clune in the halves. Yikes. Uh, pretty soon, we'll be starting a 2023 season and the contracts will be, will be updated as well. So recruitment should look a little different. Fitting that we're playing the Knights given they have got their man, Lucky oh, Miller. Yellow. We're talking about KP, speaking of, there's an interception right, after a decent line break. Plenty of talks around KP, uh, him being overrated as one, injury prone another, you know, hasn't quite lived up to the hype. And I'll be honest, I don't agree with the consensus surrounding him playing 5-8 that I don't think that he's overrated. I mean, we, we saw him prove that during the state of origin. As we get it out to the Fox here on the wing. Man, that, that should have been Fox home. Low-key annoyed that the Fox can't get away. We gave him plenty of room. And his speed should be should be enough. It is what it is. Newcastle here in attack. There's the inside ball. We're anticipating an inside ball. But yeah, they've already pretty much confirmed that KP will be moving to the halves. They get their man Lockie Miller. And all of a sudden, the Newcastle Knights looking pretty decent on paper i'll say that they look decent on paper especially with an adam elliott oof the fox gets smashed especially with an adam elliott and jackson hastings coming to the club um but yeah back to kp do i think he's ever rated no i do however think that the newcastle knights did a terrible job building around him uh, they had mitchell pierce there they let mitchell pierce go Clifford and Clune were in the squad. They looked good for what, two games? And then they ended up falling off, not to mention their four pack fell off. I mean, a lot around KP. I struggle to see how KP is the problem as Mitchell Moses backs himself and takes it to the house. What a run. Mitchell Moses off the back of, I think, a top in their pass. Anyway, while we take this kick, that's pretty much my thoughts on the Newcastle Knights at the moment. Um, I still have thoughts about KP in general that I want to get off while playing. Oof, got to bring off, bring off Paul Vaughan, throw in Morin. Also Chuck beyond the auto to play hooker, I guess. And Pangai to play lock. Still kind of uh, sussing out who the permanent 14 will be. Beyond the auto, Josh Cook's there. Still have Wakeham on the bench as well. Or in the reserves, I should say. Straight through. The pass back in field. Mitch Bayonet will get tackled. Knights. Last play goes to the sky. A pressure kick for the Fox, who gets outlet. Inari Tuwala. These bombs, they're so hard to defend. Look at the contest here. Gets over the top of the Fox. That's one. Move. Might be space here for Moses. There it is. Too quick for his own good. Oh, we've got the numbers here too. Need a clean little short ball. Offside ref, come on. Should be a yellow. We have time for one settler. And we're gonna come back through the left here. Oh, I know they want the right side. All right, we'll take it. Couldn't get it away. We had the numbers. Let's take it all the way left. Moses to Burton. Carraz with a dummy. An offload. Goes to ground. Play on. 
Vitala Mariner, super scrappy. We'll take it. A bit of an opportunistic try here for uh, Raymond Vitala Mariner. We were shifting it, but the Knights defense was actually holding up here. It was the offload from the Fox that hits one of the Knights. And there's three Knights around it. So apparently, uh, Raymond Vitala Mariner gets there first. Let's go. Just punch it. Flat-footed. Hate it. Absolutely despise it in this game. Try to sneak one away. Too slow. Way too slow. We just give the Knights an opportunity here. And they shift it nice and early to the middle of the field. Jacob Saifiti. They keep coming left. Dare I say they go left again. They have the numbers. It's a forward pass. Yeesh. Look like they're working towards something. All right. Let's go. Let's get some nice passes going on here. Oh, kill him. Ooh, the footwork. Go, go, go. I want the fox with ball in hand. Oh, Vitala Mariner shakes one. That ain't the kick. We tried angling it out for the chaser. Disappointing. After a pretty good set. Actually, a really good set. Pass goes to ground. Alamotti. We'll take that and come straight to the right. Passes will do. A try saving tackle on Nick Meany. What a save. Definitely had the overlap there. Followed up by the big hit. The Knights trying to keep us out. We're going to take it out of dummy half and get it away to Tavita Pangai Jr. Let's go. Bailey Beyond Yoto off the bench. Looking fast at a dummy half. A bit of a scrappy one to get us there in the end. We get there though. That's the main thing. 16 points to 6. And that's full time. We get the dub. Massive return for Mitch Moses. Pick it up, man of the match. 16 points to 6 is the final score. Burton might be out for a couple of weeks, depending on the severity of that high tackle. So we'll go ahead and deal with that. Then we'll jump into round four. Okay, so it's a grade two. Should we take the two matches? Stuff it. And he's gone for two matches. So much drama in these first few weeks for the Bulldogs. We have yet more changes to make. So the good news, Max King's back. We're back at Balmore. The bad news, obviously, Mitch Moses gone. So we threw in Bailey Beyond the Auto. Although he's been impactful coming off the bench, we're gonna back him again to start in the halves. And Brandon Wakeham will come into the 14 role. I was also tossing up the idea of throwing Bribson in the six, Karaz to fullback. But uh, instead of, I guess, doing a whole lot of reshuffling, we did the easier, or we stuck to the easier routes, which was just swap out the halves during a new 14. And hopefully Wakeham coming off the bench is as effective as beyond the auto was. But yeah, if you are enjoying the video, be sure to run and shoot that like button. And let's get the show on the road. In terms of our attack, uh, we'll be mixing it up. I've got some little punt kicks, punt kick plays I want to be going for this game. Let's see if we can now uh, pull them off. For the moment though, we're doing all right in this set. Made plenty of meters. Here's the out the back play. This is the first little punt into the corner looking for the fox. Oh, that's way too heavy. Probably not the best time to go for these types of plays with a brand new six. Not phase though, we'll still go for them. Hopefully we can pull one off because I've done a couple off flying and they've looked pretty cool. Barely getting back in time. We do get the pass away to Josh Jackson. There's some nice post contact meters going on too. Another little short ball, that's two in a row. Pagai Jr. tries to draw in the fullback Kalo Kalo. One of two rookies I saw. As we shift it to the Fox, here we go. Josh Enoka taken just outside the 22, place to go. Beyond the auto, that's a beautiful short ball yet again. The short balls of doom so far. One of them leading to our first try of the day. I was a little hesitant starting beyond the auto. He's looking all right at the moment, though. I don't know if it's Beyondi or Bayondi. As Jai Arrow takes it to the 40. They might come short. We'll play for an interception. Oh, the second best option, Nick Meany. Just drives Johnston over the sideline. Love a scrum play. 
We're going to keep it OG here. Drawing pass beyond the auto in space. Gets it out of the Fox. They managed to wrap him up though. Scrambles nice. Massive gap around the ruck. Karaz takes advantage. He is gone. Skis the fullback. Way too deep. A bit of eyes up footy here from Jacob Karaz. It's not often you see that big a space around the ruck. And with someone like Karaz, it's a no brainer. Let's get another big body running onto this. Beyond Diotto. Oh no. Off the chest or off the hands. It doesn't matter. Scooped up by the bunnies. It wasn't even a bad pass either. Oh, he's offside. Will they take the two? Nope. They smell blood. Let's see what they got. Back through the middle. Oh no. Big Davy. Got pretty close. Again. We're going to hold him up. That's Lachlan Elias. Back through the middle again. Max King. Turning up. Stopping Hamis Selle short. Comes down to the last play. Oh, the kick. How can you stop it? That flat. Galo Galo will score the first points for the Bunnies. Oh. Almost. Almost coughed it up. Short side. Oh, again. Nick Meany. That's what we like to see, baby. Some solid defense. That's two now. Shutting Johnston down. Is there any other play to do off a scrum? That isn't a draw and pass. This is like the go-to thing. And if you can get an offload away, you can sometimes lead to tries. There is a uh, short ball you can hit for the center. As beyond the other fine space. Deserves That's a try, this kid. Filled in at seven, now filling in at six. Seems like the next guy up. As we shift it down the line to Torpene. Two plays to go. I don't really like when it gets like this. It feels like you're pulling your players away. They're like magnetized in a certain direction. Back to Beyond Yoto. All right, last play. Kicks haven't been working. But we'll go for one yet again. No, we won't. Karaz gets in the way. Down the line we go. Mitch Moses just hits the gap. Dives from five outs. It's been a tad bit messy, but at least we're turning it into points here. Karaz with the regroup. Now we quickly shift it out to the right edge. Kind of filling ourselves here with a few minutes left. We're just going to uh, muck around. Try some things. As Nick Meany straightens eventually. This is the third. Moses. Oof. Dummy inside. Gets smashed. Been late on the play. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's been sloppy as. Somehow we have a 12 point lead. Last play. Just going to run it. As we take it out with Marshall King. Look to thread the needle. Jacob Karaz unselfishly hands it off to the Fox. And we score our fourth try of the day. Cooking him well, well, well. The fill-in 5 8 has a standout performance. Bailey beyond the auto. Shows out in his first time starting at 6. A couple of good games back to back as well. Um, amidst all the drama, <laughs> we're doing well. Currently 3 and 4 to start the season. And yeah, nothing much has to say. The boys are on fire at the moment. As always, if you did enjoy that, be sure to run a share that like button and don't forget to sub to the channel for more rugby league related content. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you. you, you.